All right, let's talk about arrays in C. So arrays in C are very uh, similar to arrays in Java um, in, in many ways. Um, what you most likely would have seen in a Java class is that to declare an array, you would do something like this, where you'd say int array x, and you'd go ahead and request that it gives you space for five integers. Java, um, most likely for compatibility with C, um, also allows you to place the square brackets after the x. So it's a little bit strange. It's less intuitive. I like to read this as an array of integers. Um, this just doesn't read as well to my eye, but it works. And the good thing about this is that it makes it easy to transform C code that's declared like this um, in, into, into Java code. A little bit more easy. Um, so if I want to take an example to kind of work with this a little bit, um, let's get rid of what I have here. Now, let's see if we can create an array of integers. So let's create an array of integers. Let's say that we have int um, x, so an array of integers. And let's say we want f to declare and get space for five integers. So one, two, um, one, two, and 77. And we have our five integers there. And now if I want to print out one of the items in there, since it's an array of integers, I will tell it to print it as an integer. And I'll say, give me x sub 1. So using 0 indexing, x sub 0 would be a 1, x sub 1 would be a 2, x sub 3, 4, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and x sub 4 would be 77. So let's maybe do x sub 4. And if I print that out, I'm looking for a 77 to get printed, and we get our 77. So that is that is as expected. And if I want to print out maybe three values in there, do something like this and those would be the three values and I'll say that this is um, x sub 2 x sub 3 and x sub 4 let's print those out and we get those values 1 2 77 1 2 77 if I want to print out um, all of the elements in the array then I'm going to have to use a for loop so let's do that, or a loop of some sort. All right, let's go ahead and print out the elements in the in the array. Um, typically, in it, you'll see that this looks very familiar. It looks a whole lot like Java for an i equals zero, i less than uh, the number of elements in there. So to print out zero, one, two, three, and four, that's five different elements. Um, then I plus plus and from here let's maybe borrow what we have here for our printf and modify it uh, all right so printf and get rid of all of this and make this x sub i And maybe when it prints, I'd like to see a little bit of space in between. Now, this looks very familiar to you, probably. At least the for loop does. Um, depending on how your compiler is set up, it may give you an error that says the for loop initial declarations are only allowed in a particular kind of version of C. 
So we could make some changes to how it's compiled. And I think the default for the, the computers in the lab will allow you to do this. Um, so instead of my changing certain parameters for right now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of stick with this old school C mode and do the declaration somewhere outside of the loop and then initialize within the loop this time when I compile I won't get these errors that you see that you saw before and now this time when I run it it should give me those values so you'll see that there let me do a couple of things I'm gonna do a single line comment so that we can see our one two one two seventy seven only printed out once and we get our one two one two seventy seven um, and if I wanted those each to be printed on its own separate line I could put a slash in there and you'd see that they'd come out one two one two seventy seven nope uh, notice that these are all left justified um, and so if you were dealing with numbers or dollars or some format in which you'd want to have these guys aligned then you could do something like um, let's say 3d allow three spaces or let's say seven spaces and then you'll see that seven spaces are allowed for those values and it's aligned and that gives you the flexibility of printing out numbers of varying sizes but all of them essentially being right justified um, and if I wanted it to be left justified I could put in a minus sign um, in front of the width portion of the conversion specifier and you'll see that they're all left justified here so and if I wanted them right uh, right justify just leave um, the minus out um, if I put a plus in there it sticks a positive into the front of each one of those let's say that I wanted to front fill with zeros and have them right justified I could do that and you get something that looks like what we see here Um, so to print the items out in the array, we will have to go through and use a, a for loop or a loop of some sort to print out the items in the array. So let's two two. Let's change these numbers up. Three three four four um, five five six six seven seven so what I have now is one I have seven different values but I've only asked for five um, so it'll print out those five values one two three four and five um, and if I asked it to print out maybe let's say we go through and I try to print out the seventh value um, you'll see that it ends up printing out a zero and a one so we only requested space for one two three four five anything after that on the other side of that in memory is not our space so when we try to go outside of it there's no telling what you'll get out of that um, in this case it was a zero and a one but it you can expect it to be garbage so you have to be really careful um, that you declare enough space for the items in your array um, conversely let's say that we re we go ahead and declare more space than what's required if I go outside of those seven spots if I try to print out maybe the item in position 9 there's nothing there in position 9 but we've asked for more space so it's smart enough then to 
um, fill out the unused, and this is the only time you'll get a declaration, an initialization with arrays, it'll fill it all out with zeros. Um, and if I do something like this, let's say 143, I just put in just maybe one value, whatever that value is. Um, I still have 10 items um, that were requested, 10 spaces that were requested, and it will fill out um, those spaces with zero. So the first one will be a six, and the others will all be zeros. So the way that you can initialize your array is to put at least one element in there, whatever that element may be, and then everything else then will be initialized to zero. If you did not in, um, initialize your array with any elements, when you go through and print out those 10 elements, it's going to be, um, you can expect it to be filled with garbage. So the only way to initialize your array in C, um, or the easiest way to initialize and declare, is to um, set at least one of the elements within the array to a value, and everything else in that array would be set to zeros.